Coleman for the one nearest you or log on at carfactorygroup.com. Well, I'm Danny Williams with Lisa Sykes on 92.5 KOMA Radio, 20 minutes past 6 o'clock. I've been in this business 61 years, and the first radio show I had, I played classical music, if you can believe that. Oh, really? I played the Hindemith Mahler Symphony. And then I started telling kitty stories on the radio. And then I came to uh, WKY in 1950, and I was Spavanaugh Spoofkin, Chief Spoof Spinner of Spoofkin Land. I can still say that. I can't believe it. Ooh, I could even and try. Then, then I was on radio for long, or TV, and I did the Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty show, put on an egg. And Lee <laughs> Allen Smith in 1957 <laughs> wanted me to take over the morning program on WKY. So I did, and I was playing, I mean, music that was, you know, I was playing Lawrence Welk and... Oh, brother. I don't know what all. Mitch Mitchell. And I happened to turn on one of the Oklahoma City radio stations that was number one, and I heard this record, and I knew that rock and roll was what to play. Ray Charles. Here we are. Lovely equipment. Yes, here we go. Well, this was a big, big record. Do you know where now? We'll take the last train to Clarksville at 26 past 6. Temperature reading 77. This is 92.5 KOMA Radio, your family fun station. With me on the Danny Williams Show is Lisa Sykes. Good morning, and it is going to be a hot day. 93, 30% chance of rain, but uh, we're going to keep it dry for your dove hunt on Monday, okay, Danny. good. Did you know that Michael Jackson was born on this day and Gary Anna? He was born in 1958. The doctor, when he was delivered, wore sunglasses with a rubber glove on his right hand. Why anybody would wear sunglasses on their right hand, I'll never know. <laughs> K-O-M-A. Hi, folks. Woody Woodard here. Oklahoma City Weather. Oklahoma Weather brought to you by Pioneer Cellular. News 9's Gary England says partly cloudy today. 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms at a high of 93. 71 tonight and then only a 20% chance of rain tomorrow. 89. Looks like Sunday, Monday for Labor Day. Go out, have that last bout at the lake or wherever you're going because sunny and 90. You got to still wear sunscreen. Right now it's 77 at Coma. There she was, just a walking down the street singing. Yeah, I'm trying to answer the phone, do the show, thank everybody, and man. It's 92.5 KOMA Radio, and we are currently at 31 past 6 o'clock in the morning. And before we go to the news, i got to have this guy on because I hired him out of Lawton, Oklahoma in 1960, and he has become one of the premier disc jockeys in the country, Mr. Rock and Roll, uh, Ronnie you, Kay. You are, you are so kind to me. You have always been so kind to me. I got, I've been trying to call you since Monday. Oh, I couldn't good. get in. Well, I, mean, I got the hotline. I've got, <laughs> I've got your audience calling me. <laughs> hey, Danny. Yeah. I wanted to thank you for letting me be on your show to tell you, really to tell the people out there how much I and what a privilege it's been to work with you side by side. 19 years at WKY. All right. 16 years at KOMA. Grand total. Of 35 years. My goodness. No I wonder. believe, I don't know, but I believe that makes me the person that you've worked with on air longer than anybody else. I'm, I'm kind of proud of that. Well, thank you. That is really nice. You, you know, you know. I believe that anybody over, I don't know whether you feel this way, you probably do, anybody over 55, it says they don't have an ache or a pain or something that is lying. That's and, absolutely and I can tell you true. I remember about 13 or 14 years ago, you and I were in a car. We were going to a remote. And you were you were talking to me about some aches and pains that you were having, you know, and mm-hmm. stuff. And you said, "Man, I'm really hurt." And I, and I don't see how you've done this all these years, anyway. Getting up at three thirty in the morning and all that. But I said to you at the time, I said, "You know, Danny, I said we're sitting on the opportunity of a lifetime here at Coma, and that some of our best days are still ahead of us." And I think that when it's all said and done, I think it's probably true. Yeah, I think but- that probably the last few years here at Coma have been the best years of our lives, and. 
Hey, well, man. you're you may be retiring, my friend, but you're not quitting because hey, you're not a quitter. Let me tell you something. We are really lucky that Kent Jones likes old people. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie, thank you so much thank for you, calling. My man. Hey, Uh-oh. Danny. Hmm? Danny, I did a, I did, they, I, they did a survey in the 70s here. Uh-huh. They had the governor in the survey, and they were looking for most recognizable names. And they had the OU football coach. And I want to tell everybody that your name was at the top of that list. And, Far and, and out. You, it was, you have always and are still one of the most recognizable names in this city and this state. And I want to just thank you for exposing me to the state of Oklahoma, exposing me by pulling down my trunks at a girls' DJ <laughs> basketball game in 1963 in front of over 500 men, women, and children. Wow. And I want to thank you for teaching me how to act because when people ask me to this very day if I've ever been to your house for dinner, I have to act like I've been there. Okay. <laughs> I, I started, listen, I started my career by asking something from you. you know, I was asking for a job and you gave it to me and I appreciated that so much. So I'm going to I'm going to kind of end this all by asking you for one more thing. All right. That all this love and this outpouring of affection that Oklahomans have shown you for the last week or two here that that you don't pass it on. Keep a little bit of it for yourself. Well, so aren't store, you... store it up in your heart for all the wonderful years ahead that you so richly deserve. Well, thank you, Ronnie K. We'll check you out today. That thank was you, really friend. nice. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Love, Love you. 92.5 KOMA, Oklahoma City. Have a great weekend. I'm Ken Johnson for 92.5 KOMA. In these days of noise and haste and great frustration, we turn to the Holy Bible for a moment of quiet contemplation. This morning, Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Of all the records I've played in my career, this group right here is one of my very favorites. They're called the Doobie Brothers, and they record on the Zigzag label. <laughs> okay. He came from somewhere. Oh yeah, from ninety-two point five KOMA Radio. It's thirteen until seven. Our temperature reading is 77 degrees, and with me is somebody I'm going to miss more than anyone, Lisa Sykes. Oh, no one's going to miss... I don't know. I'm with that word this morning. Come on, come on. I'm with that word this morning, Danny. (laughs) I'm going to miss you so much, you would not believe. Well, thank you You very much. And you can catch... Channel 9 is doing a great job. They've been in here live this morning, so if you want to kind of see what's going on in the studio, turn over to Channel 9, because they're they're here now, and they've been with us this morning, and it's been a lot of fun. You know what's amazing to me is... I used to look decent, and now on TV, I am the ugliest oh, looking person it. I have ever seen. I'm serious. Quit it. I'm serious. It's terrible how ugly I am. Golly. Uh, on this day in 1821, Ku Klux Klan tarred and feathered 43 Texans. They used duck feathers, and they were condemned far and wide for inhuman duck plucking. K-O-M-A. 